Hello guys, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from. Um, yeah, it's a boy Joel again, and this is my world. Um, I got a message from a, a, a student. Uh, he said uh, he applied for scholarship and the scholarship was refused. And he's asking if he should change his email and reapply. So uh, this is kind of like um, he applied for a scholarship and the scholarship was not approved. So he's thinking of changing the email he used to apply again to the same scholarship. Well, my advice is um, do not do that because uh, they have your information, they have your database information. Uh, what our advice is you go through the, all the scholarships, uh, funds that are available, go through, uh, look the one that uh, suits you, where you're coming from, because I think probably you applied for uh, a scholarship that um, uh, you're not supposed to apply or probably you applied late where uh, others have already applied you know scholarships are first come first uh, serve so uh, I think uh, one good thing you should do is keep with the email but go through uh, other scholarships and try to find which one really uh, goes with you um, yeah try to find which one really suits you there are a lot of scholarship uh, uh, at the University of the People there are so many scholarships but you cannot just apply to any of the scholarships as I made mention last time um, when you're applying for a scholarship you have to read through the scholarship you know where you're coming from if you're coming from the Middle East if you're coming from America if you're coming from Africa uh, there are specific uh, scholarships uh, for those people like uh, I saw something, a scholarship that says Embassy in Democratic Republic of Congo uh, is issuing a scholarship. So if you're not from the Democratic Republic of Congo, you cannot actually apply for that scholarship. And I saw another one, a uh, scholarship for refugees uh, in, um, is it in UK, in America? I, I can't quite remember but something like that. And if you're not a refugee in America, if you're not a refugee in UK, uh, you cannot qualify for that scholarship. So if you are out of your country first and you are a refugee, and in that country that has been specified, then you can apply for the scholarship. So, so what I'll advise you is before applying, actually read through the scholarship and see if you actually fit into the descriptions all the scholarships at the university of the people they have their descriptions so read through the description and see if you actually fit and if you fit you apply and make sure that if you're applying you provide all the necessary information that all the, or all the necessary documents that are required um, if you're applying and they ask you how much are you gonna pay and you say zero uh, you might get it, you might not get it. Uh, let's take for example, uh, somebody that applies for the same scholarship is ready to pay $5 per course. You know, our courses at the University of the People is $100 per course for assessment fees, right? So, somebody that is applying and is willing to pay, let's say, $5 per course, and you are applying and you're willing to pay zero, uh, probably the university is going to consider that person who is willing to pay five dollars uh, If that person pays five dollar the money can be diverted to another person that might get the scholarship That is how probably it works at the University of the people. So what I advise you is uh, what I advise my uh, uh, fellow students is that try to make mention of something that you pay I, I understand that things are hard for for some of us um, but try to mention something like maybe two dollars five dollars three dollars uh, you stand a greater chance of getting the scholarship so yeah first read through the scholarship know which one you're applying for know the what they, they require and you know make sure you submit all the documents and try to at least offer something uh, you need to put something on the table 
uh, yes, our university is um, a non-profit organization, is a free tuition university, but again, we need to try hard to be able to support uh, other people that might, uh, you know, want to study at the university. So yeah, uh, that's it. Um, so yeah, uh, please don't forget to share the video. Uh, that's all. Somebody out there might be, you know, you know, trying to apply for a scholarship, but it seems to be difficult. They might want to apply for that scholarship. So uh, please share the video to somebody that needs to see it. And yeah, uh, if you have any questions, if you have any inquiries, please don't forget to leave them uh, in the comment section below. And please, please subscribe subscribe please thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video uh, before I go I apologize for uh, those who I have not been able to get back to them I have seen your inquiries trust me I'll get back to you thank you very much for watching and see you next time